Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to fixing up the Commonwealth and today we are going to finish off County Crossing. As you can see we're going to work in this area right in front of us. Fill in the gap and um, we're pretty much done. Apart from one last thing that I need to do which I was requested ages ago. But I will probably do that and then put it in the final tour. So let's get into the build menu and let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is actually get rid of a bit of stuff and um, here we go. So in the build menu, we're going to get rid of that. We're going to get rid of this too because we need that building area. And then we're going to block that door up right there, right here, right now. So I need to find some wall boards. There they are. And these are a bit tricky. You can get these wall boards that don't snap to things. I'm using the ones that snap to things that come with workshop rearranged. Um, either or will work. The only thing with these ones is you have to kind of place them first before you can use place anywhere. So we're going to block that door up there because um, we don't need it. And this is what happens sometimes when you're building. You, um, you build something and then you want to build something in front of it. And so you have to make adjustments to, um, to what you're doing. It's a pretty easy fix this one, um, so we'll just get these into place. And I'm varying it up. I could have put two of those, what, two of those doors in and be done with it, but I think it looks a lot nicer with um, some variation in in the overall look. Um, and you can see I'm trying a few things. The big thing I've got to do here is try and get this these boards to sit in the inside of that gap rather than the outside. Um, and so. It takes me a while just to do that, um, and in fact, I think I end up going on in inside to get this to work in a second. You can see I'm kind of scratching my head at the moment, going, mm, sort of not working. What else can I use? Maybe that. Yep. But I'm going to have to put it inside. Kind of weird that I would do this because in, in the end I don't think you actually are able to see it or it's just that you might just completely miss it but um, I like just having this variance just in case you do see it and um, it is visible so you can see the problem is it doesn't want to snap properly so I have to vary the angle until it does there you go done all good so I'm going to anti shimmer these just to make sure they're good and then we can move on with the um, the rest of the build cool there you go job done so I'm gonna build in that area it, it looks a reasonably big area it looks pretty standard but as I, I'm about to find out it, 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 it it's going to give me a couple of problems and so I like to get the foundations in first see what I'm working with and then I'll build around it so again I want to keep it off the boundary a little bit like that i'm probably going to raise that up a little bit and um, what i'm doing going to do here is i'm going to measure out how much room i've got first and so this is a, they're going to be a bit of back and forward until i get because i really want four of those foundations to fit in flush with the wall there so that's not going to happen so i'm going to have to pull bits out and muck them around and blah 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 and okay see how much room we got so because that's over there that's going to give me some issues later but we, we'll worry about that when we get to it push that right up like that snap a few of these on like that and then see if we can get that fourth foundation to fit in there which i think we should be able to now yeah perfect this um this idea that i'm doing today came from um uh, the playthrough that Mikey were do and I were doing the other day on live stream, which was the uh, new content that uh, Bethesda have put out called the Burrows. We went essentially it's at um, Harper's Ferry. You go down into the um, into the sewer system almost, I guess, down into the catacombs or whatever you want to call it. And I saw something down there that I was I was like, mm, that looks very interesting, and it could actually potentially be. A, um, a build so here it is it is a build because <laughs> I'm making it for you today so um, you'll see as we go along what I'm talking about but essentially that's where um, that's where I got my inspiration from for today's build and again I'll, um, we will be putting out a, a, um, 
a video right at the end of this build to show you some of the influences on uh, within Fallout 76 for this entire settlement. So if you're not quite up on uh, what I'm talking about or you haven't got Fallout 76 or you haven't seen it, um, don't worry because I'll, I'll be showing you where I got my influences from at the end of this video. So there we go. So there's those um, shark floors or those kind of bridge shark floors are like going to, uh, they're going to make a walkway and um, then we're going to make a series of dwellings here, a series of rooms um, essentially. So this roof does give me a little bit of problem. I don't know why but it does and um, yeah. Um, I don't know what we're going to get that. I don't know why we're going to get that but we're going to get that. Essentially what I wanted to do was I was going to move this uh, because that you can see that walls on the boundary uh, I was going to move the whole structure then I realized I'm going to pick up everything if I do that so I, that's not going to work <laughs> So okay, so let's snap some more um, Some more roofs on like that and I don't know, this this is one of those things that shouldn't have been difficult, but was. Um, anywho, it, it, we get there, we, we, we get there. It's quite a long build today, um, and this is pretty much the last thing we've got to do in the settlement. So it does take a while, but I've, I've left most of it in because I think it's, it's important just to leave it in. And I know I've had a few comments in the last few weeks where you're saying, we want more, we want to show, show us the whole process rather than um, me chopping it up. And so the only time I'm chopping it up at the moment is really to, um, is when I uh, go to sleep. Now, for some reason that should just snap straight onto there and it doesn't want to snap. I have no idea why. Um, again, just you just gotta find the fix and move on. So. The fix is pretty easy. I've already done the fix on the other side, which is snap a wall on. But I do struggle here for a little bit of time with this roof before I realise that I have that um, that light bulb moment, and we go, okay, you know what, we can we can fix this. Um, anyway, so what I've done is I put a ladder up there, see if I could snap it from above. It didn't work, so I ended up just putting this down like this, snapping that on like that, and then the roof should get rid of that for a minute. And the roof should just snap straight onto that. So we're going to test one. Because you only really need one. Come on. There you go. See? That snapped straight away. Of course it's, it snapped straight away and then it, it became a pain in the butt. Because, you know, it can. It's like, ha 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 ha. You think it was going to be easy? No. There we go. Snap. Now, I don't want full walls on this side of the, uh, on this side, said, side of the building. So, um... I'm going to take that wall out in a minute, but um, just for the snappage, there we go, like that. See, see now they're, they're being nice, now they're playing nice, and they're all snapping where they should, he said, and then this one doesn't work. Actually, we have to come up with another solution for that. I don't know if I show you at this point, but I certainly do come up with another solution. So, I get these kind of half walls, and, and in fact, another half wall managed to snap there uh, a little bit later. So there you go, we've got a good, I don't want that, uh, get rid of it, that's right, you were right the first time, there we go, so, we have a floating roof and a foundation, fantastic, I think that's us done, eh? <laughs> no, we'll keep going. So I'm going to put these on, um, now you'll see a little bit later on, I'll have an, an initial thought about how to dress this and make it look a certain way and then I'll change it, because I find another item, Um but essentially I want this to look reasonably open and um, I'm faffing around with a whole lot of stuff now but um, I want to change it a little bit so I'm going to put that in there if it's going to snap it's not going to snap where you want it but you know, just drop it down and yeah you're not fooling me there we go so you can see we that's a little bit higher on that side to give them a little bit more privacy but essentially that's going to be the wall and we're going to do individual uh, little um individual little areas now so i'm thinking about how i can snap these on now these kind of some a lot of these are come with the uh, workshop uh, 
uh, workshop rearranged her yeah that's right so different kind of look on this side to the other side um, and you can see I'm thinking I like that but I don't like it so I might do something with that and we're going to do something different on this side just to break it up a little bit so now it's thinking time again what do we want what step do we want to do next and I'm going to put these walls in to start you'll start to see where I'm going with this in a second I guess once I get these walls in and again varying up the walls you're putting in there just be I mean you can put the same walls in but I don't think it looks as nice as as varying it up like that and we'll do the same on the other side now uh, you can use the same walls if you like however just ver put them in a different position is how I would expect now that awning is a problem for me above and I should have taken it out now that I'm watching this back but um, I don't think I do I just leave it in and that would have been that would have fixed that issue that I was just having with the snapping there we go but I do like to have it have something like that poking through this part of the build because it um, it actually shows that the settlers have probably built or improvised a little bit when they've been building this little area here so see we've got we're building a series of individual rooms there you go let's stand back and admire our handiwork it is coming along and it is getting to where I want it to so that's good um, now this this build does fight me it fights me a lot you got no idea <laughs> but anyway we'll just keep going like I said you don't worry about it anymore just keep going so you can see this yeah, that needs to go sit in there but the roof's not extending and uh, anyway we fix that like I said we fix it a bit later you can see these are probably not needed because you got walls in but they just I don't know they the overall look they I think they they give something to the overall look now that's outside the boundary so what I have to do is do that and do a place anywhere quick there we go didn't see a thing we're going to put that there you see that half roof there I was sort of tempted to leave that as a half roof but I end up fixing it so I want it a really kind of claustrophobic type um, feel about it um, ooh, I don't want to put that there but it's it's too it's not gonna work it's not gonna work and um, you'll see what I do with this in a little while too as a support beam see you can tell I keep looking at that gap and it, it, it keeps annoying me oh there you go I got it to snap there you go cool that fixes that problem there we go we're good sometimes as I've said many many times in the past if you change the angle of the way you're looking at a certain piece it will fix itself so we're making good progress here get making real good progress now I want there's a gap there you can see that gap there in front of us and for some reason this will not snap to it it will snap there and it blocks the stairs I want it to move across there now I could use place anywhere I guess to do that but this building on our right is interfering with the, my ability to snap that on it will snap back there it won't snap where I want it so I'm forced to come up with an alternative solution and um, so I will I think I think I get distracted here I do. <laughs> yes look I got distracted Um I'm looking at the front of this now now this is a trick I've used many many times and I do start to use this same trick and then say you know what I've used that so many times is there something else I can do and I'm going to show you what I initially put in and then what I, I make what variation I make on the look of this so these are um, chain link fences put them in there like that pretty simple stuff but what the reason I make the change is it just it doesn't give the um, settlers enough privacy in my estimation you can do this if it's like a, a guard house or you know it's a state uh, storage area or something like that or an outside area but I, I think that I don't think that's going to give them enough um, privacy for what I'm building so but that's 
sometimes it just there there's a, a, a kind of way that you have to go when you're building a kind of kind of steps that you have to go through to make a, a decision and so I'm looking for something else here and I do come across a solution for that that problem there so um, you will see that in a wee while and um, we will show you that we, we're about to go through it so I've got lots of these pieces here and I know what I want to put up um, in that gap there right there so I decide well you know what we could put those we could put those um, boxes that sit there that could just be like a little that would just block that gap there um, and we do need a little bit of privacy in that first room there and you'll see why in the final tour you'll see what I make it into and why we need a little bit of a wall here um, now this ends up needing um, I'd have to switch collision off to get this to work because you can see it does not want to sit on the top there I want to get this as close to the side of that building as possible and as close to the edge as possible and it, you can see it keeps kind of riding up so you have to switch to get around that what you need to do is switch off the collision and um, that should help you get it as close as you need to like about there cool getting a bit glitchy but we're good we're good I'm going to do the same to this one I'm going to put it on top essentially there we go. pick it up push it across line that up and bring it up as, as you need it so I'll use those lines just to make it line up and there we go done probably needs to be pulled a little bit further back but I'm not going to worry about that at this point now here's a here's a quick adjustment I make to that roof I look at it and I think hmm that doesn't not maybe it would be better if I make it open now here we go so we're in this menu and I'm just having a good look along <coughs> excuse me I'm having a good look along this um menu and I go you know what those would fit perfectly in there and so it sends me in a completely different direction now. So I'm going to drop a heap of these down. And essentially what I'm going to do, I was going to put these in the back, in the back area. And then decide to put them in the whole uh, area of this building. There we go. And that actually sits nicely in there. Like that. And it's, a, it's just a different look. And not one I'd planned on. I just, again, I... I can't emphasize enough the value of going through different menus and just having a look for things because you'll find solutions or things will occur to you and they'll send you in a certain direction for your builds and um, it, it just yeah I think I think it it fits nicely in to this build but it's not something that I'd planned on using so that's a full wall there, that's fine. It's all light and breezy and airy and just, it is scrappy-ish as well, but it's also very secure. And don't forget that this building is on the boundary of the settlement. So I've looked at those and I've gone, you know what? Hmm, why wouldn't I put them in there? As I'm anti-shimmering them. But now that I make that decision to do that, so that's what I'm doing now. I'm looking at it going, hmm, is there anything else I can use? Can I use these? Hmm, that could be quite interesting. So you can see the journey now. You can see where this is taking me. And um, I'm just saying, you know what, I actually like those a little bit better. And also, you know, I haven't used these to do this before. So um, why not? So I'll put them up high like this takes a while to get them into the right position and drop them in and now I have a, a problem but we will solve the problem pretty easily because the problem that we now have is that gap you can see there's a gap there but um, yeah well, I'll find a fairly quick solution for it there we go so 
I'm glad to get some comments back that you like me to explain this thought process to you because it helps you in your builds. Um, sometimes I, you know, like I've said to a, a number of people in the past, I just I'm building by feel and nothing's really planned as far as I'll get one idea and I, I know talking to a number of different builders, they do build the same way. They just they start they have a starting point and then we when we just moved forward from there and these little what i call happy accidents happen as we go along so you know this is another happy accident um, and and um, not one that was planned for there we go i do like the look of that but let's find a solution for that gap because we can't leave a big gap in there in there can we really so i'm looking around and i'm like hmm what can i use thinking of wall boards all kinds of stuff so my initial thought was to get planks like this but the problem is they're not long enough and I'm like I do, I've got planks that are long enough I just can't think where they are so that sends me off searching and um, leads me to what I end up um, making the final solution here so we have some with workshop rearranged, he has some wall boards, gap fillers. There you go. Now nah, I'm going, ah, that snaps there. That's going to work. Okay, so we're going to put these in and see straight away. It's just knowing what you've used in the past, what might be a, a, a problem solver for you. And these are perfect. And so what I do is I've got three variations of this. So I put a different one in each window just to vary it up a little bit. And there you go. That's fixed it. There you go. I do like that do like that a lot so there you go guys that's that's pretty much the structure done so now we're into tweaking bits and bobs of the structure and just tidying things up and adding a few things and um, before we start decorating so I want to stick that up there for now and um, but it does give me another headache and you'll see the headache and I'll show you how I get around this so it's it's one of those um, situations where the um the um support beam is not the right size i can't get what it's either too short or it's too long and so i'm like hmm i'm gonna how the heck i'm gonna get rid of this you can see there's a gap there so we've got to fill that gap and it's pretty easy fix and it's one that i've used in the past with various things um and you'll see in a second i'll show you exactly how i get around this so before I do that, what I'm doing is I'm looking at these, there's a specific roof I'm looking for, there it is there, which I'm going to pop in there, there we go. And so it looks like there's a little bit of a cut in that, um, in that roof um, to accommodate the building underneath. And then we're, what we're going to do is we're going to put that there and then we're going to have to put a small one underneath it to fill it because that is too short as well, but that's an easy fix. So we just do this. There you go, fixed. Okay, all good. Trying to admire my handiwork, I can't get back far enough. <laughs> okay, we're all good there. Now you can see there's gaps above the above the walls. I do fix those. I don't show you me fixing them, and I'll tell you why I don't show you me fixing them. It is a simple fix, but it took forever ever to do it was just an absolute pain in the backside um, however we do just fill those in and I'll, the fix it with that is there are little triangles that come with the roof pieces that you just slot in there but I essentially had to pull the whole roof back off to get them to work so here's the solution uh, what I do is I've put that in there to start with to see if it work just get a barrel drop a barrel in there there you go to make it look as though it's sitting on top of it and just try a couple of different angles to make sure that that looks right and there we go i mean it's a small element but it, it, it's something that essentially would probably be done by the settlers dun, 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 dun. yep okay that looks as though it all fits into the settlement and so we're on to the where as the motorbike goes past we're on to the final stretch here and it's just a case of tweaking some finer details doing a lot of decoration and it's amazing where a structure like this 
sometimes excuse me sometimes the decoration can take longer than the actual building process which is um yeah it's quite funny <laughs> but um yeah i think to get it right so i'm looking around and I, they look like picket fences when you look at them but when you actually click on them they're these kind of rickety old falling down fences which i like which are perfect for the the front or front facade Ooh, posh words front facade of the building so we're going to just see how far we can push these in before, without getting them to go through the building although that will probably go under the floor so it won't be such a drama so have a look at what we've got here as far as options and it's a it, it it's i like it i do i like it a lot I likes it a lot um, these are the fences you'll find at Nordhagen and various places around the map so I'm going oh yeah did that probably fit in there now I'll fill all that in and then we're good so I know it's a little detail but one that is pretty um, and this is the small details in your builds that will make them look um, believable I guess at least that's my story and I'm sticking to it we go in there and so guys we're getting pretty close to the end we're getting pretty close to the final tour i hope you're going to enjoy this one and essentially this will be the last build at a uh, county crossing i know it's sad isn't it but however it's been a good kind of 12 uh, week process it's it's taken us a while so welcome back to the channel and um we'll do a quick run around here and um show you what we've done so we're up on the balcony here you can see the kind of overview of it and we'll run in and have a look around yay okay so you can see on the outside i've added a little bit of a uh, tart if you like a little bit junk and a little sit sitting area to relax at the end of the day got a nice look about it and it has integrated into the original shack quite nicely here and um, I do like how it's come out um, as far as as far as um, the original shack is concerned you can't really tell how integrated uh, that that wasn't there this building here wasn't there before let's go in you can see I've put a whole lot of gr junk around just to uh, make it flow with the rest of the settlement so straight up we have a bathroom at, at the front and you can see there's a, bit, there's a tub there, there's a convenience, something to read in the um, in the bathtub if, um, if you want to, something to clean the bathtub if you need to and of course you can just do, wash your hands, brush your teeth, have a look, oh, oh okay there's some stuff in there and so let's have a look down at the major hallway. So the influence to this, as I said previously, I think I said previously, was the burrows. And what I found in the burrows is there was a, a number of uh, little rooms, but they didn't really have doors. So that's what I've done here. So see, this is the Aussie room. There isn't much to it. Um, there's a cat lounge or a couch to sit on. You can sleep there if you need to. A lot of stuff and I've tried to make each of these rooms just a fraction different so this is very basic kind of area sleeping bag on the floor a few things in the fridge and that's pretty much it this is getting a little bit more um, sophisticated color new Californian Republic if you played New Vegas you know exactly what that's about um, we got a safe in the wall, but I'm not quite sure how where the void would be for that. But that's um, yeah, quite basic there. My um, my bed's back. That bed that I found in Fallout 76 at some point is back. It's a Nuka Cola farm. And you can see it. It kind of um, it's a different idea for doing accommodation, I guess. It's like a heap of little rooms that people can live in. It's like almost like a boarding house, I guess. They even have a cuckoo clock there, and the final one, this guy is obviously a military guy, he does have his um, pirate flag up, and whatnot. and there we go. 
there you go guys that is my little creation that pretty much I think does it for the settlement in fact I'm going to call it here I'm going to call this as done as far as the settlement goes and um, now all I need to do is put together a little tour of the entire settlement and I will put together a um, uh, video that shows you some of the influences that I, ha I had during um, during this build um, of County Crossing guys I know you've enjoyed the series thanks so much for all the support thanks for all the many many comments on this and we'll see you next time on Gaming for XP see ya